This is Keemstar, one of the most villainous figures in the YouTube space. I loaned Bitcoin to Mr. Beast, who had a gambling problem at the time. He didn't pay me back. A man of controversy and drama. This all fucking righteous fucking Yesterday, Keemstar invited me to spend a day with him in New York City, the Big Apple. Is he really this evil villain that the internet makes him out to be? Or is it just an online persona? There was only one way to find out. I will admit, we're like uh, 20 minutes out and it's starting to look like the boonies. Uh, I get why Keemstar called Alex what he called him. Uh, the area that we're in, you know, you're starting to see a lot of potentially um, traditional views is the best way to put it. So, stay hydrated, I guess. He's really clenching his ass cheeks. Oh, are you recording me pissing? No hand sanitizer, no nothing, just raw dogging it. First of all, you gotta understand, just the, raw cl dogging the it? cleanest part of my body is my cock. Oh, damn, Keem's got the cars out here, bro. Look, Keem's got a fucking Corvette, two Corvette. He would be the he would be the Corvette guy. You could tell Keem's a Corvette guy. Upon initial encounter, Keem was quite genuine. He greeted me and my friends. <laughs> What's up, man? What a way to pull up, bro. <laughs> How was the drive? Uh, it was cool, is it? It's a beautiful drive. Dude, it's such a great fall day. What's your name, man? And without ID checking, offered us alcohol. Brandy, you're up. Hi. That's Brandy. <laughs> Keem, start. Keem, Keem likes them young. Oh, please. <laughs> Gave us advice on how to evade taxes. I rent all these fields to farmers. So the taxes are like X amount of dollars. I make double what the taxes are. So I'm making money by having this land. This, guy, this guy's been on the internet for 10 years. And he's like the definition of uncancelable. And I mean, that, I mean, so are we, right? Well, like not to this extent. And offered us a trip into the woods alone. All right, well, let's ride with the sunglasses. I gotta show you these trails. I'm gonna drive like an idiot, just so you know. Yeah, oh, right. look at that. Drinking and driving, man, and Gorge. Hell yeah. I mean, on private property. Yeah. There ain't no laws. Ain't no just laws. Just claws. You're. <laughs> No laws, just claws, baby. I'm a good driver. We right. could have went. From here, Keem would show us his 240 acre plantation. I mean, that's not what he called it, but Alex. Yeah, this is where I normally just stop. Keem, be honest with me. Have a sig. How many times have you fucked to this view? I don't. You don't? I did that when I was younger. Now I just lose my house. <laughs> Actually, I did get a blowjob here once. Like this view is just a spot where you come out here, nobody can see you, and you just, just out in the open. You just... <laughs> the cows that they have all around here are dairy cows. Can we go cow tipping? We can go to the Keem's dairy farm and look at my cows. <laughs> can I milk well, we one of your cows? Them. No. I've What's never, I've happened? never milked a cow. A cow. What's... You can't tip a cow. It's like a urban myth. Oh. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, you can't tip a cow. That's just a troll? Yeah, that's not real. Cow tipping's not a thing. You can't just run up and kick them? I mean, you can kick them, they'll kick back though. You don't, I thought they go cow tipping like by run. Impossible. I think just cause you're short and you're a bitch, you probably can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go look this up and see if there's videos on YouTube of people tipping cows. Because I, I don't believe Keem, but he knows a lot of shit. So I do believe him, but I don't. Now that we were a little under the influence, it was time to drink. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking pulled it out. <laughs> Look 
Okay, maybe, maybe don't drink and drive. I own ricegum.com. When rice was popping, you're sucking them off. I mean, you when made a you video. say sucking him off, what you're really trying to say is that was my homie. Was yeah, my yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, nothing. You just made a video call me a bitch, but I was just like a young kid trying to make this. It, it, it was my first ever investment. How much is it for sale right now? I'll give it to him for 2K. I just want to get rid of it. No, for 2K? I'll give it to him for 2K. Yeah, but rice gum's not even popping. Yeah, but I don't care. 300. I'm not gonna lose money on my first investment. The best thing I could do is 300. It's an ego thing. Rice gum isn't even a thing anymore. Yeah, but it's an ego thing. I'd rather keep okay, it. Okay, 400. 1.6. No, 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 no. The money's not there. There's no, there's no, there's no call for rice gum. I'll tell you what. 450. Not a penny more. I'll watch Pawn Stars. Okay, maybe if I start talking like this, you understand. Let's meet in the middle at 475. This is not the middle, my brother. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere in the middle, it's just more on my side. Brother, okay, 1250 special price. No. You are my friend. How much did it cost you? This one? 800. 800, okay, so I'll I do... will not lose, I promise, brother, please. I'll do 500. Don't. Hey, you bat on a horse that's not winning. Rice gum's done. I'm sure there's a lot of rice gums that you have here. Yeah, rice, listen. <laughs> <laughs> but I need you to start making content again. I just bought ricegum.com for like a thousand dollars. I I need to get my money back, Rice. Start picking up these fucking TikTok kids. They're everywhere. This moment was made for you. So far, the experience was great. Keem was a lovely host, and there were no red flags. So it was time to check out Keem's basement. The main the main thing is the bar. Which we convert it into a studio. This is the, the studio, okay, right? TV. Yeah. Faller, can you turn this shit on? So Wait, so you both sit here and you look this way and I sit here? Yeah, you're gonna be right there. Really? We're gonna turn this on. If you wanna throw those headphones on. Oh, you want some whiskey? This is sick. We can bring her out. Oh, it's bullet, it's bullet glass whiskey. What? Fuck with this. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Good? <laughs> yeah, it is good. While in Keem's basement, he would begin to tell me stories on how he blackmailed Mr. Beast and other prominent YouTube figures such as the Ace family. <laughs> Keem, Keem comes up, he goes, look, I got a bunch of other cool shit. Bring that fucking PewDiePie's 10 million play button, okay? And then this is the Ace family. You won this in a lawsuit, right? I won that in a lawsuit, and then I, I loaned Bitcoin to Mr. Beast, who had a gambling problem at the time. He didn't pay me back. Uh, Mr. Beast acquired this, so he paid me back with PewDiePie's uh, oh, oh, diamond oh, oh, button. Yeah, right. <laughs> when, when, when you get to the top and you don't care about money anymore, you just... <laughs> so, so let me ask you a question. You're winning this lawsuit. Yeah. And you put up what? You put up like a fucking price, and then they were like, ah, that's a little too much. So you're like, all right, give me your play button. Then. They owed me a lot of money, and I said, I don't really care about the money. I got money. I go, I want your play button. So they gave me the play button. Can you say the amount? Uh, the leak, the leak right here on the vlog. When you when you got money, this is more important. Yeah, me yeah. me having this conversation with you is more important than money. I think yeah. so. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. 100%. How did Mr. Beast get it from PewDiePie? Uh, PewDiePie threw it in the garbage, and then um, Mr. Beast acquired it off of uh, someone else that picked it up off uh, eBay. <laughs> What the fuck? It's a long story. So when Logan Paul and KSI fought for the second time, these were the promo gloves. KSI gave all his boys these. So I got one of these. Is this Logan, your way of bragging that you're friends with KSI? I'm friends with everyone. Logan Paul gave this to his friends, and one of them was Rice Gum. Rice Gum's like, I don't even fucking want it, all right? <laughs> so I'm the only person with both gloves. But here's the thing. That caused a whole controversy between Rice Gum and KSI to this day, they hate each other because Rice Gum went and sat in Logan Paul's section at this point. And I got both the gloves. <laughs> that's pretty that's, sick, brother. That's sick. The amount of fucking souvenirs this guy has. To end the day, we would hop on his show and talk shit about all of Keem's enemies. Live from Buffalo, New York, you are watching the Keemstar Show with your host, Killer Keemstar. And today's her, her, guest, her, her, her. we have Aaron Shabbat Abdullah! What the hell did you just call me? 
Hey, Rap. That's King. What? That's kind of fucking racist. Uh, that's your name, though. Yeah. I think he go. I think he wants to go by Arub. Yeah. Arub. Arub. Yeah. The way you pronounce it was like some like it real. Was, you. He pronounced Arab like yeah. the hard R uh -huh. N word. Yeah. It, soft. Soft. Arab. My Hello, Arab. Welcome. My Welcome to Buffalo. All in all, there were no red flags, and Keemstar was a great host. What are your initial thoughts? He's a douchebag like everyone says online? I'm definitely not, bro. The guy's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Are you trolling? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for making it to the end. We're gonna have to fake he picked up. Yeah, Rice, listen. <laughs> now my family has robots. Oh. Just like YouTube. Okay. It's the algorithm. <laughs> they go in and the machine just automatically milks them. No human Fuck. contact. I thought I was dead. <laughs> One more way on the right side, eh? Maybe we should flip it. We're